Up next, D7 Klingon Battlecruiser. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnesty.com and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to take a look at Jason Marshall's build of the Klingon Battlecruiser D7 and this is the second part in his series. We'll see what he's up to in the build and as usual, thank you everybody that's been hitting the subscribe button and the little notification icon. Greatly appreciate that because you're helping the community grow. So enough out of me, let's get over and see what Jason's up to. The boom, I filled it, I sanded it and started the top of the command deck. Uh, most of it's sanded and uh, good to go. These two top pieces, the bridge dome and other bulbous item, not ready yet. What's happening here is I've already set up one uh, strip of LED. So you can see lighted versus not lighted. Uh, power wire, negative wire. And I'll be doing the same on this one. But what I have to do is prepare the wire and uh, pre-tin the uh, contacts so that we can get power through. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, pre-tin the contacts on this. Now I've already, already determined which is positive and which is negative. The R for the resistor is on the negative side because it doesn't always tell you positive or negative for each contact. So it's just a good little uh, mark to uh, get an idea. So we're going to get some solder onto our soldering iron. And there we go, those are ready for the wire. We're actually going to be using magnet wire, really, really thin stuff. It is dipped in a coating, so we have to get that coating off to solder the contacts on. So we got these two super fine wires. Some people use the soldering iron to strip off the coating. Uh, I've not had much luck with that, so I'm going to use a little butane torch. That burns off the coating. You can see where the copper is exposed. Some corrosion on there, or carbon from doing the, uh, from burning it. So we'll just I take some fine sandpaper and just strip that off. Just like that. Then we're going to tin these before attaching them to the strip LED. And same as before, we're going to get a little uh, solder on the tip of the soldering iron. And then that actually allows it to transmit heat better into the wire. And then we just uh, follow it up with the, uh, with the solder. All right, we got a little bit of solder on the tip here and we're just going to give her a good little contact and same thing here. So that's not a great connection, uh, it's functional. But um, see, I didn't get the extra uh, carbon off the end, so the solder didn't stick to it that well. That's why I had to slide it up. So now we're going to connect this to the other one and show you the two lights in action and then install them in the ship. And there we go. What we've done is attach the two and uh, it's really just power in, uh, lights up these LEDs, and then it's designed nicely so you can pass it through. So if these don't provide enough light for everything in the onion head, then we can add some more line and add extra strip LED up into the uh, command deck. Uh, obviously, I've got handheld for this. Uh, this is the current lighting setup with just the two strips of LED lighting in it. And there is actually only two coats of etching primer, which is, this stuff is amazing. That plastic coat etching primer. It goes on beautifully, and um, its light blocking uh, properties are amazing. I mean, the only place you're seeing light leaks is where obviously I haven't uh, put the model and sealed the model up. I may still put one up in here, but overall, it looks pretty decent. Well, that's it for this part of the build from Jason. As always, we'd like to thank Jason very much for putting his builds up on the channel and showing you what he's up to. Don't forget, there'll be another episode coming up next Friday, and I'm pretty sure it's three more Fridays after that, and then again, we'll move on to another one of Jason's builds. So if you have any questions or comments or anything like that for Jason or I, just put it in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can, as always. Hope everybody has a great night. Take care, and bye-bye.